Lung cancer is an abnormal growth that usually arises from the breathing tubes or from the air spaces. And it is associated with tobacco exposure, associated with other things, but tobacco exposure is obviously number one, and is the most frequent cancer that really men die of, and women, in the United States at this time. You have non-small cell lung cancer, and you have small cell lung cancer. The biggest difference between the two is you think of small cell lung cancer as being non-surgical, and you think of non-small cell lung cancer as being a surgical disease. When a patient comes into us, they can be at any stage of their illness. It could be early, it could be mid, or it could be late. And our job as a team at the Cancer Center is to try to assess what is the best form of management of this patient. Patients come to me uh, with a suspicious nodule uh, or a suspicious mass on their x-rays or their CTs. And uh, it's important for them to understand what that abnormality means. Staging attempts to have a snapshot of where a patient stands with his disease at a given time. Now, obviously, there are certain parameters that you use to be able to make judgment about what the stage is in broad terms. It goes from a one to four category based on how big the tumor is, whether the lymph nodes are involved, and whether there's any evidence that the patient has metastases or areas that have escaped outside the chest and that they're documented. A stage one tumor defined as a tumor that can be any size up now to seven centimeters, usually up to six centimeters, that has no lymph node involvement. Those patients are surgical candidates if they have the function to be able to go through an operation. Patients who have lymph nodes spread within the lung or outside the lung, if it's within the lung, it's a stage two. Those patients must be staged very carefully. Why? You have to stage everybody carefully because you need to know whether the lymph nodes are involved because it's been shown that by giving patients chemotherapy who have stage two disease, disease in the lymph nodes within the lung, that they'll live longer if you give the therapy afterwards. But if you have lymph node disease outside the lung, but in the chest, there's a group of lymph nodes that are not within the lung but outside the lung, that moves you to stage three. Stage three has a different prognosis than stage two and stage one. So it's treated more aggressively. And there are patients that are treated with chemotherapy and or radiation therapy before an operation or patients who cannot have an operation who are treated with what's called definitive chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Stage 4 lung cancer is when the cancer has spread to distant sites and at that point it depends on the location, it depends on the extent of the spread and sometimes it may have spread to more than one organ. This is a very, a very interesting time, a very exciting time in treating lung cancer. Stage 4 now is not what stage 4 used to be. Uh, in terms of treatment and in terms of success. The quality of life can be supported by different interventions and now with interventional radiology, with interventional uh, bronchology, some limited surgical options, targeted chemotherapy and all of that, the quality of life could definitely be better and the survivorship could be a little bit better. The level of aggressive measures that we use, surgical, non-surgical, radiation, gamma knife, all of that, it's usually a team decision and the patient is in the center of that decision.